So, you know, in, in this, you know, in the continuation of talking about things like, uh, like, um, you know, cases and, and, and stuff like that, one of the things that bothered me the most is that, uh, you know, when, um, as an attorney and a sheriff for the court, uh, you know, we're not supposed to be discharging our weapon or having to discharge our weapon, you know, due to legal cases or, you know, um, things like that. It's like, it's, it's unfortunate from the aspect of the attorney. And I'm speaking from personal experience as a nine cannon LLB, you know, sworn member of Congress and legislative council, you know, uh, just as an attorney shouldn't have to deal with problems like that. So, you know, yeah, it does have a lot of bearing on, on, on specific cases that we do is that, uh, you know, some cases are, are, are just, uh, you know, you consider these cases to be high profile cases. You know, I've handled cases for, you know, transfers from New York to uh, Chicago when, you know, uh, Sudokapo, um, Mr. John Gotti, uh, was transferred over after, you know, him and Sammy the Gravano, uh, Sammy Gravano, Sammy the Bull Gravano landed up, uh, you know, um, um, you know, needing uh, testified and so forth like that. So, you know, I was one of the attorneys on this uh, case and as well as, you know, during the estate indictments and uh, of, um, and, and uh, you know, Cicero with Miss Betty Maltese, uh, uh, an associate as well as a, uh, a client. And, you know, those types of, uh, of profile cases, you don't expect, you know, and, and you don't expect something uh, dramatic to happen during that process. And, you know, I was also involved with, uh, you know, transfer of or assisting the uh, U.S. Senator, Senator Paul Simon at the time down to Springfield, uh, you know, and, and, and Dick Durbin as it was in the House of Representatives at the time. But, you know, those types of... Uh, those types of uh, cases that we handle, you know, nothing we don't expect and, and nothing ever happens out of stuff like that. But, you know, when you talk about, uh, you know, high profile cases of, you know, filing million dollar, million dollar lawsuits, you know, you see that, uh, you know, things start happening, you know, violence starts happening, uh, people start chasing you around, people start, uh, you know, harassing you, you know, as a state sheriff, you know, uh, I had to discharge my weapon more than four times already, you know, because of, uh, because of incidents like that. And it's unfortunate because, uh, you know, you shouldn't have to do that, you know, and, uh, not only, uh, not only, uh, do you have to, uh, land up, uh, facing, you know, uh, you know, some, some hired people sometimes to, uh, to intimidate you, but you have to, uh, you know, protect your client as well. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a various amount of things that, that go through that you have to, um, to deal with as a, uh, as an attorney, uh, as a state attorney and a uh, sheriff of the court, uh, you know, and those are, those are the types of incidents that, you know, we don't, we don't normally run into and shouldn't happen in the state, you know, and then we, uh, we find out that, uh, you know, certain certain individuals and people had uh, you know some type of political ties or something like that, and you know, and it's just a mess. It's just a mess for everybody, you know. And you find out that that it is a mess when it comes to cases like that, and that you know when you file whole high-profile cases like that, nobody wants to, uh, nobody expects to handle that type of activity, and nobody wants that activity. So you know, that's you you have to deal with that. So, you know, one of the things that, you know, I, I always mention to my clients is that, you know, be willing to, um, to get harassed and all the rest of that because if, uh, and, and also investigated because, uh, you know, even as an attorney, they investigated us to see if the case was validated. And it was, you know, I, I never pushed uh, frivolous cases or anything like that, you know, but those cases always land up, uh, you know, getting high profile status because of the fact of that they are, um, you know, uh, uh, million dollar cases and nobody wants to pay million dollar cases. So they're going to do anything possible to go ahead and try to debunk that case to try to destroy your credibility and so forth like that, you know, so that's the things you got to look out for. Um, you know, and, and once again, you know, it's, 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 you know, if a case is validated because it is a validated case or because it is a, a, uh, it, it, it shows warrant in the courtroom for justification 
and, uh, you know, legal action, then, uh, you know, it should be like that. You know, you shouldn't have to, uh, you know, nobody likes to, to, to just file a case and ruin their lives, neither the attorney or, um, or uh, any type of uh, clients, I'm sure. So, you know, those are the things you got to worry about, you know, and, and unfortunately, when you when you take on cases like that and when you decide to, to file a case like that, you know, and it's unfortunate. It really is. So, you know, we've been through a lot and, you know, I know that things are, are, are like that uh, in the court system and, you know, we, we don't want to hear any political uh, ties to anybody and all the rest of that, but, you know, it's unfortunate. You know, it's unfortunate that things happen the way they do. And, you know, sometimes people get hurt. And in this case, you know, people did get hurt. And uh, people did get, uh, people did get, uh, you know, so-called whacked, you know, and people, other people got, uh, you know, indicted. Other people got pulled off. Other people got sent on unemployment, including myself. So, you know, all to do with a case. So, you know, it's when you file lawsuits, you got to consider all the aspects of that. So... You know that's one of the things you uh, have to consider when when approaching for, on a lawsuit. So you know, I hope you learned something from this. And uh, once again, you know, uh, yeah, I'm not a violent person. So you know, but you know, if threatened as a as a as a person, you know, I do what anybody else does. You know, so um, and you know, that's it's unfortunate. So and you know, like I said, I got a new family to to, to take care of and so forth like that. And no, but nobody wants that type of trouble. So you shouldn't have to go through all that. And, you know, I was just doing my job.